Indigenous World Cup will only feature teams made up of indigenous groups from across the world. In the World Cup, a lot of players will make excuses about the conditions and stuff, but these guys are playing on sand with what looks as light as a beach ball, and the, their control, their touch is really impressive. Today, the players are trying to impress a selection panel, including another soccer legend, who Tino is keen for the guys to meet. Great honor. Great honor. Hola. Aside from being an ex-pro himself, Tino's amigo, Radamel Falcao, is father to Radamel Falcao, Colombia's star player and probably one of the best strikers around. But days ago, just before they arrived in Colombia, Falcao Jr. got a knee injury, which could rule him out of the tournament. Uh, how, is, how is Falcao now? We know he got injured just, just this week, just when we arrived in Colombia. How does he feel? Bueno, la operación salió muy bien. Ahora... Eh, esas operaciones son muy sencillas. Antes, antiguamente eran eh, muy difíciles porque no existía esa tecnología. Ahora lo que hay que hacer es recuperarse, esperar el tiempo adecuado que dicen los médicos. Bueno, yo siempre he dicho que si hay un milagro que de pronto diga se, se regeneró el ligamento y está bien para jugar, magnífico. Si no, que se tome el tiempo adecuado para jugar cinco o seis meses o, o los siete meses, pero que esté bien porque por un partido o por tres partidos que puede jugar en el mundial puede perder su carrera futbolística. And Radamel, what does it feel like seeing you were a professional footballer and now the sun eclipses you, sun is doing better than you. You feeling proud? Is it predominantly proud or does it give you a lot of stick as well? Bueno, porque eh, cuando yo estaba finalizando mi carrera futbolística yo anhelaba tener un hijo, varón y que siguiera mi, eh, mi, mi legado, mi, mi, mi carrera. Uno siempre quiere que sus hijos lo superen. What do you think of these players? Can you see any players who you think are, uh, are going to make it? Bueno, hay algunos muchachos que se destacan, ¿no? El número 15 se juega bien. Eh. How important do you think it is uh, for these kind of guys um, to have a, kind of a structure like this to play football in, to have this kind of organization? Eso es muy importante, pero en la época de nosotros no existía escuela de fútbol ni nada. A veces magníficos jugadores desaparecen porque no tienen la suerte, no tienen el padrinaje, no tienen esa oportunidad y posibilidad de llegar a, a buenos equipos. From the skill on display, some of these players could have a very bright future indeed. But it's time now to say goodbye to El Tino, as Mark and Henning have got an appointment to keep. <laughs>